Good morning, guys. What's up? We are starting a brand new project today, but it's been a long time coming. If you remember last year, around this time, around springtime, we pulled down all of the walls and we respray foamed the house because... We basically had some issues with expansion the first route and we didn't really realize it until we decided to add more spray foam. We hadn't finished the living room yet. We weren't really satisfied with how well the insulation worked. So we figured, you know, before we finish all the drywall and it's painted and sealed in and all that, we may as well add more insulation first. We're basically doing that again, but with the bathroom, the bathroom. this time. So we could have taken everything down the first time and did the bathroom, did our bedroom, did the living room, but that's a really big tedious project whenever you're still currently living in the house that you're working on so we decided to take it room by room we first did the living room and kitchen now we're moving on to the bathroom so just like the living room once we get the walls put back up in here and the insulation done we'll be finishing the paint finishing the flooring and doing all the finishing touches in here basically one other thing is we do have some kind of changes and upgrades that we're going to be doing while we have all the walls down mm -hmm. um, after living in here for what a year or two yeah um, seeing how everything works and then some are making some design changes like wanting a mirror that lights up and stuff like that i didn't really plan for that so i didn't put an outlet in for it. we're going to be adding in an outlet and moving some stuff and yeah all kinds of different stuff so yeah. let's get to it <laughs> hey guys today i wanted to share one of summer and i's favorite brands to work with and that is bespoke post Bespoke Post is a monthly membership for their Box of Awesome. It's not your average subscription club. It's free to join, and you can skip a month or cancel at any time. Plus, 90% of products come from small brands, many of which are based right here in the U.S. Every month, Bespoke Post introduces members to cool new products tailored to their preferences. Think awesome clothes, home essentials, camping gear, and kitchen gadgets. And there's top quality stuff in every category. Now they offer a new membership program with amazing year-round deals. And you can pre sometimes up to 30% off. Review you your shipment before it's sent, swap products, or skip a month all at no extra cost. Whether it's the Trail Box with a Gut Hook Knife by Titan International or the Carnivore Box with Barbecue Essentials, Bespoke Post has something for everyone. This field hatchet from the Split Box has been great for splitting kindling, and we got the Off-Road Growler from the On Tap Box for one of our friends who's a brewery lover. So if you're into discovering unique products from small brands at great discounts, take their quiz and enjoy your personalized bespoke shipment. To get a free mystery gift with your first membership purchase, click the link in the description and enter the code CCUGIFT at checkout. And as always, everything you need to know will be linked down in the description. Thank you so much to Bespoke Post for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back. Major design decision that we decided we wanted to do was put up a full wall. I guess it's a partial wall because, you know, it's going to only go out to about right here. A wall that separates the bathroom sink from the washer and dryer. So we have a double stack washer and dryer. I guess it's, what is it? Stacked? What is it called? A combo washer yeah, and stacked. dryer. And we really want to separate the bathroom from the laundry space as much as we can in a tiny home in a tiny bathroom. So that's one thing that we're also going to be adding is a wall that separates these two and really like gives them their own space. Yeah, and then with adding that wall, we're most likely going to be moving that outlet into this yeah. wall. So that way we can get it off this wall and also move the fan switch mm -hmm. in with that and just have one receptacle set up. Yeah. So it looks a lot cleaner. And then we also can make the mirror work the yeah, way that was, it's supposed to. I was thinking about maybe turning, turning it because it's yeah. the same. I measured it. It's the same width as the, the cabinet. Yeah. So yeah, we can raise it up and go horizontal with it instead of vertical. But yeah, I just want to tell you guys about that because that's something that I'm really excited about having a designated laundry area and a designated bathroom because right now it just looks really really chaotic but I think closing that off and separating the spaces is really gonna you know help give it a little care yeah and then we'll also be building a cabinet around the water heater mm -hmm. as well as taking that cabinet down that's gonna be a shop cabinet yeah, and then we're gonna a little smaller and then add some shelving yeah yeah I think we're gonna do basically just one big built-in cabinet mm -hmm. right there and we'll just have to make it ourselves instead of trying to make something fit it's okay, yeah. just one thing that kind of comes with building a shipping container house is you know you're limited to the size of the shipping container so you kind of have to work around that as opposed to yeah. if you're building a stick house you can make the room bigger depending on you know your design plans for like cabinets and stuff like that so we don't have that option we have to work with what we got I'm probably going to change out that 
gas hooked up too because I feel like it's a lot longer than it needs to be. This one's for you. I gotta take everything out? Uh, yeah, I gotta be able to get to the plumbing and I need the floor clear because it's gonna drop water, so. Okay. Can you go put all this on the counter as I hand it to you? I just want that much. Yeah. Since I organized it. It's really big in here without the washer and dryer. I know, it's huge. Maybe eventually we can get one of the fancy, expensive, all-in-one, so it's just one instead of double stacked, you know? Oh yeah, that would be really nice and put or like just, a table or something. That'd yeah, be nice. it's just expensive. Excited to take the wall down to see how everything's held up. I'm not excited for the fiberglass. Yeah, same. I guess you want to start emptying that cabinet while I start yeah. disconnecting all these plumbing lines and we'll take both cabinets out and, and I guess it's the TV and drywall. It's really hard living in a tiny house when you're not minimalist because we just have so much stuff Yeah. for not when we a had size house. A lot yeah. bigger house before so, and we had two yeah. bathrooms and definitely had to throw a lot of stuff away, donate a lot of stuff, get rid of a lot of stuff, sell a lot of stuff. A lot, a lot of stuff. All right, so now that the room is pretty much cleared out, for our next thing, we're gonna pull out the hot water heater. We don't necessarily wanna be without a shower for a week, so yeah. I think I'm just going to disconnect it and slide it over, take the drywall and the insulation down, and then slide it back and hook it back up so we don't have to drain it or anything like that. Of course, when we do the floors, we'll have to completely drain it and move it out so we can do flooring underneath it, but since we're going to be doing fiberglass tonight, we're not, this is a big project, so we're not going to just complete it overnight. We definitely want to be able to wash all of the fiberglass off of us before we get in bed tonight. Mm -hmm. So we think this is going to be the most efficient way possible.
Oh, I had a tape measure. Behind there? Yeah. And socks. <laughs> We have to replace a piece. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I know, but it's I would like, I simple. want to try to salvage as much as we can. Getting around the plumbing is my only real concern. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to cut it. Okay. Oh, we're getting water on the floor. Yeah. Um, I should have brought down the big yellow dust pan. to vacuum the bathtub because a lot of drywall is getting in it. Yeah, 
Okay, so we have to take the ceiling down before we can get the shower pieces down just because of that's the way that we put it in. Um, the ceiling was the last thing that we put in and so everything's kind of just stuck in there. So that is what we are attempting now. My arms are already pretty much dead so Cody's taking over and then we'll probably <laughs> switch off again. Light glue didn't stick at all. Oh Look, no, it didn't. A tiny bit right there. That's it. So we need to use a lot more and Dang. I guess push it in better. Okay, I can scrape all of that. Or maybe it was just the kind because it looks like it's smushed. It just didn't stick at all to the. Tub. Are we gonna? You're gonna just put the gun down there, or how are you? Are we gonna take the tub out? I don't want to have to. So I don't know. Because if we have to take the tub out, then I have to go under the house and disconnect the drain. And that's just a super big pain. So I'm not sure yet. I will say... They were right about this being a no caulk needed tub because it doesn't look like anything has gotten past. Mm -mm. All right, now time for the worst part, fiberglass. So I'm gonna go suit up and start working on it, I guess. All right, guys, I'll see you in a second. All right, so all the fiberglass is out. Everything looks pretty good. And after looking at the tub a little bit, I brought the gun kit that comes with the spray foam kit in here and was kind of just putting it back behind the bathtub to see if I could actually fit it in the space. Um, Cause I don't want to start spraying and then realize I can't get in there and kind of be stuck. So um, I checked it all out. It looks like it'll all fit in here. So we don't have to take the tub out to be able to spray foam. It looks like everything's pretty much ready to go. We'll wait till tomorrow afternoon when it's nice and hot out and we'll start spray foaming. 
After we get all of the spray foam done and it sets, then we're gonna start doing all of the wiring changes, adding insulation to the pipes, all of that good stuff. We'll get the walls back on and then it's the fun part, which is all of the design aspects. I say it's fun, but it's also a little stressful because <laughs> we're not designers, so it can yeah, be a little we're hard. we're terrible on agreeing on yeah. design choices. I will say though, most of the time, Cody does not like what I pick until it's actually on and then he's like, oh, now I understand. It looks great. Yeah, I'm so. just bad at visualizing stuff like that. It's okay. We have Lydia, so we'll be probably FaceTiming her a lot, asking her her opinions. But all right, we're tired. We got to wake up in the morning, get everything ready to spray foam. So we'll see you in the next one. Oh, don't forget to like, comment. I always forget that. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, I started memberships, but there's not a whole lot on there yet. So bear with me as I get it going, but you can go check it out if you want. Bye, guys. Bye. Oh. Did he just poop on the dead? Luckily, it mostly went through the crack. <laughs> Dale, that's a long way down. Oh, okay. He flies better than Brennan, I guess.